All right, Coach, so tough game up there tonight. Tell me what you were seeing on the floor. Oh, I don't think it was a tough game at all. Uh, I thought our guys played very hard. Um, they played well. They got to a 2 nothing lead. Um, you know, we dictated the pace of play for the most part. I think, you know, where things started to get away from us a little bit, you know, we, we were taking some shots outside the dots. Um, we were missing nets, and it was kind of kicking right in our transition. But um, I'll we'll wait to get the analytics back. But in terms of possession time, ozone time, um, I don't think it was a tough game at all. I thought we played very well. Um, I liked the response from what happened on the last Saturday. You know, we came out ready to go. Guys were on their toes. Um, the disappointment for me is that, you know, we didn't find a way to see it through. Um, because the message was right, the guys responded the right way, uh, and typically that results in two points. So um, that's the frustration, but in terms of the way the guys played, um, there were so many good things tonight that um, you got to stay with the process because there wasn't a guy who had a bad game, there wasn't a guy who wasn't competing. Um, guys were making plays, you know, like we were making plays through the neutral zone and the ozone, the correct plays at the correct time. Um, and right now we're, uh, we're having a tough time um, you know, pulling the game away. You know, we're up 2 nothing. Um, you find a way to get three or four, you know, especially when we're getting chances in the slot. Um, you know, we're going to need one of those to ice one of these things. But um, in terms of a tough game, I, I thought we were really good. You guys had 30 shots after the first period, but none of them went in. Were you, were you happy with the shots you guys were getting? Or? Well, that's kind of what we alluded to there. Uh, I think, you know, if you're outside the dots, you know, we got bodies going to the net. Um, you got to be smarter with your shot selection. Like, you know, put them into an area that can create a second and third opportunity. Um, you know, if you're inside the dots and you, you see some net, you got to go for it. So, you know, I think we got to get a little smart. And that's what happens. It's what happens when, you know, you guys want it bad in there. And, you know, they know right now, you know, you know, we had a tough, tough loss Saturday in, in overtime. Um, everyone wants to do the right thing. So gripping it a little bit of tight in those situations, but that's where you got to simplify. If you're outside, um, you know, if you're outside looking in, give yourself an angle. You know, put one towards the net. We got bodies there, uh, and it's going to come. So, um, you know, I think we finished with 43 shots, um, and it probably could have been 50 if we hit the net in some of those opportunities. So it's been fixed a lot. So speaking of you know the boys playing well, that first period, just the sequence of scoring that first goal to that huge penalty kill to sneaking another one in. How how can the team build on you know a hot start like that? Well, it's exactly what I said. You know we had opportunities to make it three nothing, four nothing. So if we have a chance to hit the net, um, you know put one of those in. It's important. And if it doesn't go in, um, you know we just got to minimize the grave mistake. Um, we have made very few mild mistakes. Um, and if we made a mistake, it was a big one again. Um, so that's where, like I said, you minimize the grave mistake. Uh, small mistakes happen, you pick each other up, it happens shift to shift. Um, but the grave mistakes are tough and then they usually end up in your net. So, um, you know, for me, it's a little twofold. Find a way to get uh, one or two more of those great A's that we had in. Uh, and then you minimize some of those great mistakes and, and we're going to be just fine. We've got a lot of character in there. Um, we have a lot of depth in our attack, a lot of depth on the back end. So, uh, to be honest, I don't have a lot of issues with the way we played. Um, but it's important that we stay with it. Talking about the defensive side now, you got Andre Vala back from AHL Texas and new acquisition Colton Soxman. How do you feel the defensive chemistry was tonight? I thought it was really good. Um, I thought Vala's brought a very heavy presence. He had a good stick. He was good on the boards. I thought he got some shots through. Like he's a very strong, uh, low strong side shot, and uh, I thought he did a good job getting pucks through. Um, you know, Soxman's a kid. Uh, he can play 200 foot game. Uh, he's going to be a big addition to our team. He's a top pair guy. Um, you know, he was vocal on the bench. Actually, he was very vocal in the D zone as well, which simplifies a lot of things for our group. And um, I thought his first uh, first day was pretty solid. Awesome. Thank you, Coach.